Hey footy friends, gather round, gather round. Welcome back to Kappaka, where we don't just teach you how to cook, but why to cook. And today we are diving into something that's going to make your taste buds do a happy dance. We're talking fish nirvana, baby. Yeah, you heard it right, nirvana. It's like the rock band of your mouth, but without the guitars and the grunge. Are you ready to make your fish the star of the show? Let's get into it. The fishy business. Grab the travelly fish. Look in the eye if you can find it and say, "You're about to be divine." First things first, make some small lines on each side of the fish. It's like giving your fish some racing stripes, but for flavor, not for speed. The spice is right. Now, let's get that fish dressed up for the party. Imagine you're a DJ, but instead of beats, you're mixing spices. A teaspoon of turmeric, 3 teaspoons of Kashmiri chili powder. Oh, we're bringing the heat, folks. A teaspoon of crushed black pepper and a pinch of salt. Drizzle in some coconut oil. Add some curry leaves and mix it all up. It's like a rave for your fish. Sprinkle some lemon juice. Leave it to me. Time to hit the tawa. Lay down a banana leaf like it's a beach towel for your fish. A few drops of coconut oil. And let that fish sunbathe on both sides for about 4 to 5 minutes. Toss in some curry leaves for that aromatic sunscreen. The coconut club. Now, let's move the party to an earthen pot. Another banana leaf. More coconut oil. And here comes the VIP guest. Coconut milk. Add in some finely chopped ginger and green chilies, curry leaves. A sprinkle of black pepper. Close the pot with a piece of banana leaf and let it simmer. It's like a sauna for your fish. The grand finale. 4 minutes later and voila! Drizzle some more coconut oil and a pinch of curry leaves on top and you've got yourself fish nirvana. It's like the fish just reached enlightenment and you're about to reach foodi heaven. Aha, look at you. All ready to make some fish tastic magic in the kitchen. Thanks for hanging out with Kapaka. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button because we've got a lot more culinary laughs and wisdom coming your way. Oh, and check out the description below for all ingredients and the step-by-step -step processes as well as the links to our other scrumptious recipes. Catch you in the next one.